In other news, three people of interest have been arrested with the hopes that they may shed light on the killing of 18 people at Ngobazana village in Lusikisiki. The trio is expected to appear in court in the Eastern Cape today. They're actually arrested for other crimes, with authorities hoping uh, that uh, there may be additional charges that links them to the massacre itself. Watching those developments is SABC News reporter Fundi Sankhle Kude, who joins us now from just outside court in Lusikisiki. And yeah, perhaps we should start there, Fundi. So, I mean, these individuals aren't necessarily linked to the massacre, at least not yet. Indeed, Ayanda, as you rightfully said so in your intro, they are not necessarily linked to this massacre, but they are just persons of interest. But the minister did say yesterday that uh, they, as they are charged this morning, maybe they will be linked to the massacre, but they were arrested for a shooting that allegedly took place two or three days before the mass shooting at Ngobozana village. And uh, the community was very excited. They gave him a round of applause, the minister, when he was announcing on, on the podium that uh, three people have been arrested. And they are very happy that there is a progress that is being made in relation to the, uh, to the massacre of Ngobozana village because they've been complaining that uh, other massacres have not received much attention. So they believe that with this progress that has been made now, at least uh, they will get closure as to how these things have been happening here at Ngobozana village, not only at Ngobozana village, but the whole of Nguza Hill local municipality, which includes um, Lusikisiki and as well as uh, Flagstaff, Ayanda. Uh, obviously it doesn't help the situation for this is that now we're getting reports of yet another mass shooting this time in Umbu. Uh, perhaps you can help us kind of place geographically where this is in comparison to where the mass shooting took place in um, Lusikisiki um, as you also get us a sense of how this is likely to land with the community there. Right, looks like we've lost our connection to uh, Fundusa Mshekute there. A pity because we would have wanted to give you a bit more context around uh, what's actually taking place now, especially when you consider that it seems the police's top brass are pulling out all the stops to try to send a message to would-be criminals in the Eastern Cape that if anything like what took place almost two weeks ago, if that were to happen again, then they would be found. And literally just the day after that memorial service took place, we understand six other people were gunned down this time in Kumbu. Uh, it's a different community altogether from Lusikisiki, but still in the Eastern Cape. And I imagine that's kind of uh, sent shockwaves throughout that province, which is clearly struggling uh, to put a cap on this kind of criminality. As soon as we're able to get the authorities on the line for you, we'll certainly do that and get you a sense of what the way forward, if there is a solution, may look like.